it's your tag girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again guys with another review video. And I know na you are looking forward for this review since medyo matagal na nga since yung last unboxing video natin with the Huawei P40 Pro. Although medyo mahirap ngayon sabihin na talagang a real day in a life and full review itong Huawei P40 Pro since I have yet to try this device in the real world. Like hindi naman tayo lumalabas ng bahay, wala akong pinupuntahan na iba kung hindi dito lang talaga sa bahay. Hindi ako masyadong gumagamit ng mobile data at hindi ko rin ganun na ginagamit yung kanyang camera. So it is really different guys during this quarantine kasi iba-iba naman tayo ng ginagawa kapag nasa labas ng bahay at kapag nasa loob lang ng bahay. And marami rin akong natuklasan sa phone na to. I wanted to share it with you guys na hindi ko na-mention doon sa unboxing and first impressions. Actually, doon sa unboxing and first impressions video na yun, sobrang laman na noon dahil ang dami kong binigay about sa cameras na hindi pa naman dapat. But since sobrang excited ko nga, hindi ko na napigilan yung sarili ko. Pero, yun pala, there is more to it. And huwag kayo maglalagay, hindi lang to puro positive. Siyempre, I'm sure may mga negative side din itong Huawei P40 Pro. And and sasabihin ko yan sa inyo lahat. So, again, this is the Huawei P40 Pro. Gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo na I still have the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Ito ang kauna-unahang flagship device ng Huawei na wala ng Google services. At first, nung narinig ko nga na itong Huawei Mate 30 Pro wala ng Google services, sabi ko, shoot, how will it work? Kasi nga, diba, since flagship to, how will people buy it? Sobrang negative ko during that time. Or basically, for me, as a consumer din, paano ko siya gagamitin? Since, ito nga yung ginagawa ko sa buhay. I'm a YouTuber. I need YouTube. I need Gmail. So, I tried my best, guys, na mag-sideload ng mga Google services dito sa Huawei Mate 30 Pro. And naging successful naman siya. And until now, hindi ko siya nire-reformat. Hindi ako nag-delete. Now, eto na tayo. May panibago na namang flagship ang Huawei. The Huawei P40 Pro. And during this time, guys, until now, in fairness, I'm not trying to download any Google services on this device. Even on other mid-range devices na kinagamit ko or nire-review ko in the past, like the Huawei Nova 7i, the Huawei Y7P, hindi ako nagtatry mag-download. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Huawei. Pero natutuwa talaga ako, guys, sa brand na to. Because of what happened, alam naman nating lahat, yung issue with the Google services and the US. Pero nagawa ni Huawei na bumangon. They were able to handle it very well. And they didn't give up guys. Binigyan nila tayo ng maraming options and ngayon, we have the Huawei App Gallery. Although we all know guys, the Huawei App Gallery is not that 100% complete yet. Lahat ng applications na hindi available sa App Gallery na dinadownload natin sa mga third-party APK websites, ay magkakaroon at magkakaroon din. Hindi ko rin try guys na i-compare itong Huawei P40 Pro sa S20 Ultra dahil magkaiba naman sila unless I have the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. But if you want a quick comparison sa size ng camera setup natin, mas intruding ng konti at mas malapad yung cameras ng S20 Ultra. Ito medyo manipis pa nga. Next guys, I like na it's matte. Alam niyo naman ako, masyado akong pasmado. At isa pa guys, dahil nga medyo nasanay ako sa boxy design nitong Huawei Mate 30 Pro. It feels good. It feels nice na humawak ng curved edges dito sa Huawei P40 Pro. And syempre, ito pa yung kanyang unique design, yung kanyang display. It's like an overflowing water yung nakikita nga natin sa mga baso kapag napupuno. Something like that. I think guys, kung usapang pancho lang din naman, ito na yata yung pinaka malapad. Lalo na kung i-compare natin siya sa S10. But I do get it naman. Syempre, may infrared tayo. We have a secondary camera. But still, baka pag nakita nyo to in person, medyo mawirdan lang kayo ng konta with the size. Also, although this is a curved display, hindi siya ganun ka-extreme na curved display kung i-compare natin siya sa Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Although, wala naman ako naging problema sa curved display ng Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Ewan ko, pero mas gusto ko yung pagka-curved display nitong P40 Pro kisa dun sa Mate 30 Pro. On the negative side naman, guys, medyo nalungkot lang ako na wala siyang stereo speaker. May single speaker tayo dito sa ilalim. It sounds good, pero syempre kapag naglalaro tayo or nanonood tayo ng mga movies, lagi talaga siyang natatakpan. Nagiging parang one-sided tuloy yung tunog niya unless you will use and earphones. Stage, all right? Get ready for that. Shoot it. Come uh, say hey to the new group. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. We're the Bellas, formerly of Barton University.
So, mga nagsasabi naman na we have an earpiece speaker. Siyempre, hindi natin siya makikita since it's under the screen. It vibrates, guys, to give us the sound for calls. Pero hanggang doon lang yon hindi natin magagamit yung function na yun sa iba. Iba pang upgrades, guys, meron din tayong high silicon curry 995G, 8GB of RAM, We have better cameras, mas gusto ko yung design niya. But one thing na sobrang nagustuhan ko na nilagay ng Huawei finally is we now have a 90Hz screen refresh rate. Itong device ito guys, ang kauna-unahang smartphone ng Huawei na flagship of course na nagkaroon ng 90Hz screen refresh rate. Hindi naman ako masyadong nalungkot na wala tayong 120Hz screen refresh rate. I feel like it's a bit too much. Feeling ko yung 90Hz sobrang... Alam niyo yun, git nang git na lang. Sakto lang. Sobrang mas better yung display niya guys because of it. Imagine we have 6.58 inches OLED display, 2640 by 1200 pixels resolution, 441 ppi up to 5000 nits. Sakto lang, very balanced. Although I know naman na may mas flagship ba sa specs nito like what we have with the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. Now for the battery life of the Huawei P40 Pro, I know meron tayong 4,200mAh battery capacity. So ito guys, tinake note ko talaga yung ating battery life for a whole day para lang dito sa ating review. So pagkagising ko guys, during around 9.30am, we have 100%. And then around mga 1pm, we have 73%. And then around 9pm naman guys, I am left with around 32% of battery life. And take note guys, naka 90Hz screen refresh rate ako nun. And I was able to fully charge this Huawei P40 Pro from 0 to 80% in just around 30 minutes to 35 minutes. And then 27 watt wireless charging. Correction lang doon sa previous video natin, yung 40 watt wireless charging is for the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Also guys, meron din akong panibagong na discover dito sa Huawei P40 Pro. You can scroll screenshot using your knuckle. Ito guys, i-double tap nyo lang and then it will automatically screenshot. And also guys, pwede rin kayo mag-screenshot ng specific part ng screen na gusto nyong i-screenshot using your knuckle. For example, gusto nyo mag-screenshot ng tweet, kailangan nyo lang mag-drawing using your knuckle ng square doon sa tweet na yun and, and automatically captured na siya. Also, we have what we call air gestures na una natin nakita with the Huawei Mate 30 Pro kung saan pwede tayong mag-screenshot using our hand, itataas lang natin siya and hindi ko close natin yung fist natin then automatically mag-screenshot na siya. And another tip guys na gusto kong sabihin sa inyo, if ever you will be getting the Huawei P40 Pro, gawin nyo yung clone app kung saan makukuha nyo yung iba nyong app applications, photos from your, your previous iOS or Android device to your Huawei P40 Pro. But disclaimer lang, not everything makukupi. But disclaimer lang, hindi nyo makukuha lahat-lahat ng applications nyo. But still, makakatulong siya at mas malalesan yung work ng pagta-transfer natin. For me guys, Huawei is EMUI 10.1. It's really nice to use. Of course, we have yung kanyang built-in dark mode. Another thing guys na nagustuhan ko dito sa Huawei P40 Pro is yung kanyang multi-window. Meron siyang bar of applications on the left. Meron din siya sa right side actually na kung saan isa-swipe nyo lang siya. Ang kinagusto ko sa kanya guys is hindi lang piling applications yung meron siya na talagang gumagana sa kanya. Kung hindi halos most of the apps na meron ako na dinownload kung magka-compare natin siya to other devices na may ganito ring feature like what we have with Samsung right now. Last but not the least guys, pag-usapan natin yung camera sa itong Huawei P40 Pro. We have 50 megapixels f1.9 aperture for the main camera. Again guys, yung sensor natin sa main camera, ito yung pinakamalaki as of the moment. Now, what does it mean guys pag mas malaki yung sensor? Una-una sa lahat, it will capture more light. And next guys, mas malinaw, mas clear, mas perfect yung ating depth of view. Sa ilalim naman ng ating main camera guys, meron tayong 12 megapixels f3.4 aperture for the telephoto lens. And it has 5 times optical zoom and 10 times hybrid zoom. At sa ibabaw naman ng ating main camera, meron tayong 40 megapixels f1.8 aperture for the ultra wide camera. And then lastly, on the other side, nandun yung ating time of flight camera. I hope you guys understand since naka-lockdown nga tayo sa ating mga bahay, hindi ako makagawa ng mas maayos, mas maganda, at mas matinong camera review. But, ito yung mga sample photos that I took the past few days dito sa aming bahay. And sana ma-enjoy nyo pa rin sila, katulad ng dati. So, I'll be flashing them right now.
Now, para sa ating cameras in front, we have a primary camera and the depth sensor. Now, out of curiosity guys, since nag nga ako ng ating studio kanina, I did ask you sa ating IG story kung ano yung mas prefer nyo in terms of the physical appearance of the flagship, or kahit hindi flagship actually, mapa mid-range or even budget phones. So, pagdating guys sa finish ng smartphone, pinapili ko kayo between matte and glossy, and you guys chose matte over glossy. And then, in terms naman guys sa back part ng mga smartphones, pinapili ko kayo kung mas gusto nyo ng glass or polycarbonate, mas gusto nyo syempre yung glass, nanalo siya with 52%. Actually, medyo tayo nga lang sila ng konti. And then, pinapili ko rin kayo between matte and vegan leather and mas gusto nyo yung vegan leather. Pero dun sa mga curious at tipa na kahawak ng phone na vegan leather, medyo madulas sila. And then, pinapili ko rin kayo kung anong mas gusto nyo, kung punchhole or pop-up camera and mas nagustuhan nyo or mas gusto nyo ng mga phones na may punchhole. And last but not the least, pinapili ko rin kayo between curved display and flat display at mas nanalaw ang curved display with 58% of vote. Anyway, na-curious lang talaga ako. Iba-iba talaga tayo ng opinion. Yung iba, halos style lang. Yung iba naman, sobrang layo ng pagitan. So, that is it guys for our review of the Huawei P40 Pro. Hindi ko sasabing full review dahil hindi naman siya ganun ka-full dahil alam kong marami akong hindi na-mention. But at least, guys, I was able to give you my thoughts about this device after two weeks. Again, it's your tag girl, Mary, and see you on my next video. Bye, guys!